everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. I uh, wanted to just uh, get caught up here a little bit uh, with a few pickups. Haven't been doing a ton, but um, I got a few things and uh, a little bit of news, I suppose. Uh, let's see. So, um, one raffle win, one kind of random pickup, uh, set pickup, and a new set announcement, I guess, he said. Nervously, uh, kind of a random pickup. Uh, I don't, I'm not even sure why I got this, but I've been thinking about how I don't have a lot of Alex Rodriguez in a um, Mariners uniform. Not the most popular guy around, but I got this six card lot for three bucks, so why not? This one right here, number to 2000. You know, some of these old inserts are really cool. Real cool. This one is numbered to 500. Best of the bunch. I don't. It's not numbered, but it's a pretty neat one from uh, Pacific Pacific Collection. Yeah. And uh, then this one too. I guess this one's, this one's not numbered either. But then the Star Rookies, which I didn't have. Uh, nice card, nice card, and uh, not bad for three bucks, you know, uh, like I said, I know he's not the most popular guy, but speaking of not the most popular guy, I also won this Raz from Adam Aiello, you guys know Adam, I didn't have a Alex Rodriguez uh, autograph uh, in a Mariners jersey, and so I uh, won this Raz, uh, it goes for quite a bit less than it once did, as you can imagine. Not bad, not bad at all. And then set pickup. This is my 14th one for the uh, National Treasures uh, membership autograph. All Hall of Famers. The recently late Yogi Berra picked this one up. Um, uh, not because of his uh, passing, but uh, um, shortly thereafter. Uh, it's numbered seven of ten. Seven of ten. So like I said, I now have 14 of these. There's 50 altogether. There are a number of them on eBay right now, but they're pretty much full retail, a little bit more than I'd like to pay for them. I might end up paying it regardless. But um, but uh, uh, keeping an eye out for these. And then while I'm keeping an eye out for those, I've decided to start a new set, a basketball set. I uh, really struggle with what to do with basketball cards because... Uh, you know, uh, the boxes rarely have a return on investment unless you hit big, and uh, and so uh, feels a lot more. You know, you can get like a Hall of Famer, and the autograph will be worth three bucks or or less. And uh, and so I've always wondered. I've you know kind of soured on doing boxes in general, and and especially of basketball. And so. I decided but I still really enjoy the cards and I uh, thought this would be a good way to do it. decided to do this set from 2014-2015 National Treasures. It's the Signatures set. I can't see where there's a uh, the name. I think it's just Signatures. So this is one of the first cards. This is the first card I got for the set. There's 100 cards in the set. It's number 49 of Gary Payton in his Lakers jersey. For some reason um, a lot of the uh, National Treasures autographs seem to be in uh, alternate jerseys, you know, uh, either teams that they didn't play on for a long time or not the one that you think of first, which is fine. Uh, I have plenty of autographs of the glove in uh, Sonics, and uh, this is a nice addition, especially for the set. And then I picked up a second one, Michael Thompson. Clay Thompson's dad. This one is number 75. Yeah, 75. So I have Kiki Vandeweghe on the way. I have Tracy McGrady on the way. And Gordon Hayward. So five down, 95 to go. Uh, I haven't, as you can tell, I haven't uh, gotten any of the big boys yet. You know, they, they ha this set has a lot of them. has um, uh, Kobe and uh, AD, um, Anthony Davis. 
uh, Bill Russell. So a nice mix, nice mix. Uh, if you have any of those, let me know. I'm not going to, you guys know, if you follow me at all or know me at all, you know that I don't break any land speed records when uh, doing these sets, but I have a lot of fun putting together slowly. So I figure if I do um, two autographs a week on this one, um, you know, within a year I'll be pretty close, if not there. So hope you guys are doing well. Great to check in. Uh, let me know what you think. We'll talk to you soon.